minutes because this is a major, major, major event that happened. Everybody is freaking out on the internet if you are in the day trading space that MT4 and MT5 have been removed from the iOS Apple App Store. I'm gonna give you my hypothesis on this situation and what you can do in the meantime. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable. If you're anything like me, you have one, two, three, four phones. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a weirdo, but all of these phones have MT4 and MT5 preloaded on them. So what I should do is delete all my information and sell them on eBay because if you don't have, if you want to get into day trading and you don't have, I'm gonna sell this for twice the price that it's normally at. Trading on your phone is okay if you have no other means. But in comparison to trading on a computer and being in the zone and like, actually having a space and an area where you do your trading, you do your analysis, you figure out what the hell is going on, you have a bigger screen, it's much more efficient than this crap. I did this for a very long time. And the issue that I saw, especially with my scalping, is that when I wanted to get into a trade right now, I would have the tendency to get into a trade, then adjust the trade with my stop loss and my take profit. Even that, is ridiculously dangerous because had I not been aware of a news event, could have blown account after account after account. So I actually no longer trade on mobile devices. Before I get into what I actually do and why I think it's better, I wanna go over the whole news thing because as you can see here, Apple pulls down MT4 and MT5 trading apps from the App Store. MetaQuotes, which is the company that runs the MetaTrader platforms, says the action is not linked in any way to Western sanctions on Russia. I will get into that a little bit later, but keep in mind for everybody freaking out, most people actually have Android phones, so the trading apps are still available on the Google Play Store. It may remain on the Google Play Store, or it may also get removed there depending on what Google wants to do. So essentially from this article, the company received a letter from Apple on Friday, September 23rd, stating that the firm's trading apps do not comply with the App Store review guidelines. And if you are familiar with the big boys like Apple, like Amazon, like Google, if they blacklist you, your company literally just like dies. And that's the thing that worries me because now somebody's gotta step in to take this place because if you look at MetaQuotes as a company, that's a huge hit financially. And so now they need to figure out a workaround or a way to contact all of their customers and say, hey, we have this option for you, or hey, we suggest desktop instead, or hey, burn your iPhones and get a freaking Android phone. It's a hard thing to come back from. For example, if you drop ship on Amazon or you have an Amazon store where you sell things there and they ban your account, your company just is instantly dead unless you have a crazy good email list. So the apps were pulled down on the aforementioned date on the 23rd. The software development company noted Apple provided assurance that customers who have already downloaded the app will not be affected. These customers can still use the app on their devices and will have access to any in-app purchase products. So if you guys want MT4, MT5, these are uh, $8,000 each. I'm kidding. I'm not selling these. Each one of them has their specific needs in my life. So in regards to the sanctions on Russia, it says here MetaQuotes is said to have originated in Russia. It's not said to have, it did. Google it. As a result, reports suggest that its removal from the App Store may be connected with the Western sanctions on Russia entities and individuals as a result of Russia's war on Ukraine. If you go on Reddit and find some of these threads, you will find some very interesting stuff very conspiracy theory based, but very interesting and makes you think about the situation differently. For example, in this thread, it says that the creator of MetaQuotes, the company that runs MT4 and MT5, is like buddy buddy with the Russian oligarchs and is helping them move money around. And so that's why this is all happening. Unproven, undocumented, conspiracy theory, tinfoil hat type of stuff. 
but it's very interesting to get a different perspective on it. I'm gonna link all of these articles that I'm looking at as well as the Reddit thread, but I wanna cover this one also, that both apps are available on Google Play and equivalent for Android phones as of Saturday, 9 p.m. The desktop versions also remain unaffected at the moment. There is no publicly accessible information about the beneficial owners of MetaQuotes besides CEO Renat Fatkulin. Renat Fatk Ulin, who himself has always kept a low profile. The United States and its allies, particularly the, particularly the EU, have imposed several rafts of sanctions targeting Moscow following Russia's February 24th invasion of Ukraine, including targeting its central banks, major ledgers, oligarchs, business elites, and Russian President Vladimir Putin. So here's my thing. MT4 and MT5 is used by every single broker. Usually the default is MT4. So every single retail trader that uses these brokers, especially leaning more towards offshore brokers because US brokers have completely removed the ability to do that. This is gonna have a huge impact on the retail trader industry. We will see what happens over the next few months and or if a new company arises that will be in direct competition with MT4 and MT5. I honestly hate both of them because their programming looks like it was made in 1995. My other tinfoil hat conspiracy theory on this is it's the same thing as with Robinhood and AMC and GameStop and all of that, like halting trading on those things for retail traders while big market movers move the market. And so all I can think is that this is happening in order to get traders stopped, locked, and stuck in things that they don't want to be stuck in while the market makes a stupid, crazy move in a direction. But again, I really highly suggest that you do not trade on these things. This is the worst way to trade and the way that you should trade is on desktop, even though it is a pile of sh The reason why you should do it on here is because you're gonna place your trades on here and you are analyzing the charts here. And the desktop version allows you to add manually different EAs and bots, as well as different indicators and things that you created yourself. Whereas on the mobile device, you are stuck with the built-in indicators that it gives you on there, limiting your reach for your potential to technically analyze the charts. And of those reasons, the main one is gonna be the EA, because literally without this risk calculator, I would be putting my entire account balance at risk, and this allows me to get into my trades faster. Clicking the sell button, adjusting my stop loss, and entering my trade. Literally two seconds. This sets up your stop loss and your take profit, and automatically calculates your lot size depending on your percentage risk. This is the way you should trade. But on your phone, you literally have to manually type in all of the stop loss and take profit information. Look at one chart, type in 30,100. 86.25 and then stop loss 29,004 and it it takes a while right and by that time you're like 10 points away from where you actually wanted to get in for me anyway that's the scalping so for those of you that are freaking out about the whole mt4 mt5 thing on your phone and you have to trade on your phone literally go buy a really cheap android phone and connect to Wi-Fi and you you can have it on there. That is your workaround. I do suggest you do it on desktop, however, but if you can't afford a laptop and phone is the only way to trade, get yourself an Android phone. But those of you that are probably watching this video and interested in this type of things already have phones with those programs pre-installed. So don't erase your content on your phone keep it how it is and understand that it's gonna be there and it won't lose support. So as long as you have an iPhone that has MT4 or MT5 on it already, you have nothing to worry about. The thing that you should worry about is what are the long-term effects of this? Are we gonna see a new player in the game? Are we gonna see a new trading platform for brokers? And or is my conspiracy theory correct that there's gonna be a major market move which is gonna keep half of the retail trader audience out of that move? I don't know, that's my two cents. There is a bunch of information on the internet. A lot of it is speculative and the rest of it is 
been redacted. So let me know in the comment section down below if you have any other information on this. Maybe I can do a follow-up video depending on what people are saying in the comments. I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on this because this is a major, major, major event that happened. If you guys enjoyed this content and you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you're clicking the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and watch this video right here to learn the top 10 day trading mistakes that you are probably making and that I make occasionally as well, because I'm not perfect. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.